Right, good evening ladies and gents. Sorry if you can't hear me, I've got the blowers on. It's a, it's a pretty cold night in here tonight. Um, we're starting the Forester. Super, super cool car. I'll show you around it. Yeah, so it's a very, very, very nice STI. This is the shape that I would have. I've always, I've always wanted a Forester. Um, and this is definitely the model to have. The kit on it looks amazing actually. Very, very cool car indeed. I actually saw one of these on a early video in Japan um, where they'd obviously, I don't know if they'd just taken the diff out the front or, or how they do it, but they rear wheel drive it and it was skidding uh, by the docks by Werewolf. Absolutely unreal. It's uh, so, so cool. Um, so Ryan come to me with this. He said he wanted to make it very Japanesey. Um, he wanted to do a livery. He said initially cherry blossoms, um, cherry blossoms anime. The uh, Nine Tails kit, Kitsu, Nine Tails Fox. Um, it's, I wasn't too sure how to go about this because he still wanted it to be kind of racy, manly anime. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it's a bit of an awkward design. So. What I thought about doing is on this whole front end, I wanted to run like a, a cherry blossom, pretty much whole front end, but I wanted to do it in the style of this sort of uh, like ink drawn cherry blossoms. So yeah, like this sort of stuff here, I've done a visor in these, um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. So I wanted to do like a whole front end in black and white. And because it's just the black and white front end, I was gonna wrap a whole, bonnet like a full anime style bonnet and um, like an Natasha style wrap bonnet which would be super super bright and I think against the black and white and then the bonnet will look amazing um, and then carry on the full cherry blossom petals down here and just as it comes to this door I was gonna break it away into a branch which run down and then have like some sort of striping in um, in glitter blue because these are going blue or white I'm not too sure yet um, but yeah, he's gonna change the wheel color and then we're gonna have like a really nice high glitter blue which comes down the side in shards and then it might even break off to a bit of pink as it goes around the back of the car. Um, I'm gonna wrap the roof bars here in white so it matches um, and then I'm not so sure with the roof yet. I might do cherry blossoms breaking off into branches coming away down the car and the odd cherry blossom as it goes down. I did think about running the nine towels on the side as well but uh yeah we'll see right so we are cracking on pretty well with the uh forester so the idea with this one is um you know i, I spoke to ryan obviously about her sakura sort of cherry blossom design um and the problem is i've seen so many honestly like so many cherry blossom designs lately i was a bit I didn't, I didn't quite know what to do with it because there's only so many times you can change a cherry blossom. Um, and obviously I've done these ones with like the, the ink style um, before on the sun visor. So I thought that would be a really cool route to go down. And it, it looks unbelievable. It's like, it's like a piece of, uh, well, I'm looking at it now and I'll spin the camera in a minute, but it looks like a piece of Japanese artwork. It's like graffiti. I've, I've laid every flower individually so I could get it round where I want it. Um, it's not completely finished yet, but I'll show you the plans. So the, the bonnet is gonna go forward Tasha style print. But yeah, it's looking absolutely unbelievable. I still wanted to keep like the Subaru sort of rally style. So what we've done is we've done the flowers and then we're branching out into like an ink style cherry blossom branch. Um, it's gonna go over the roof here at all. We have a big logo here, plus some branches that come off, but we've got like a a really high glitter, um, let's just about see it there, like a high glitter blue over the top of the black. It just looks super, super red. We're changing the wheel color to either white or blue. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's nowhere near finished yet. So what, what I think is, I think it needs another bit of color in it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a, I'm gonna draw like an ink style petal, just like, a, like that sort of shape, like the old cherry blossom shape petal. And I'm gonna do them in a glitter pink coming down, because on top of this, we're gonna have some logos, which are gonna be matte black, either matte black blue and chrome, or matte black pink and chrome. 
So yeah, it should. I think it needs that extra little bit of color just to make it pop, but it looks unbelievable. It's looking really cool actually. Um, but I think, yeah, just a couple of little pink bits in between sections going onto the back would look really, really red. Um, so yeah, the other side, we've just got the black on at the moment. We've not done any of blue or anything or, or followed the flowers on onto the branch, but yeah, it's just got the black on. So yeah, I wanted to try and finish one side so I know exactly what I'm doing on the other one. Um, but yeah, I basically cut these with a white backing on this on this one um, to cover the blue, and then these are obviously just the black outline. So yeah, yeah, it should should look pretty red when it's done. It's uh, it's looking pretty different. I just wanted I didn't want to eat the same cherry blossoms as everybody else. So yeah, looks looks really effective actually. It's super super cool. Looks like uh, someone's graffitied all over it. So yeah. Pretty red. Anyway. Anyway, let's uh, get the last bits of the flowers put on there. Um, we're gonna sort out the bonnet print later. And then hopefully in a couple of days, this thing's done, because we've got another um, E46 turning up in a minute for Mats Matsuri, um, doing his uh, Mr. Plow livery. So yeah, should be, should be pretty cool. Um, I think that's going like a pink front end with like lightning bolts, chrome lightning bolts, stuff like that. So yeah, that should be pretty leery for, for the old racing. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy how this is turning out. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Right, anyway, in a bit. All right, so it's looking super good, actually. Um, done the roof, done the logo, little one on the prestigious fox. We've done matte black, chrome, and then a blue. Obviously, underneath that is all the cherry blossoms and the vines running down, petals coming off as well. Um, yeah, started, started the logos on the back. Way too loud, team off when I violently down the bottom. It's looking a bit racy, right? I'm still undecided on this glitter pink colour if we need if we need some shards and glitter pink coming up as well, but I so I don't want to go too OTT with it because it looks really, really cool at the moment, especially when it's the wheels go blue or white. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just not too sure. And obviously the bonnet's going to be super leery as well. So yeah. It's looking good though, it's looking really good. Obviously this side's not got any of the blue on at the moment, it's just got the black still. But yeah, it's looking. Good, good. All right, so that's actually everything done now, both sides apart from the bonnet. Um, I've added some of the glitter pink as well because I think it works really well with the petals, but yeah, it's uh, fully, fully finished. This one was very, very time consuming. The uh, cutting of the flowers, weeding the flowers, they were very, very intricate, same as all the petals. All the branches all the same um obviously triple triple layered logos but yeah it's looking it's looking really really cool actually i just love this i just think this is so cool it's like japanese graffiti it's just so cool but yeah just a bonnet to do now <sighs> get in there Right, so the finished product. Went with the nine towels on the bonnet on the end. Very cool. Glitters look amazing on it actually. Yeah, just looks like Japanese graffiti the whole car. This was a lot of hours, a lot of hours cutting and weeding. It's all cut and weeded, obviously. <coughs> finished right 
that's Ryan come to pick up the car another happy customer <laughs>